having dreadlocks um, is a bit of a lifestyle thing. Uh, not only a hairstyle, who knew? Um, but it's, it, it, they need maintaining and my whole aim of having dreadlocks was so that I didn't have to maintain my hair and I find actually I'm spending more time on it now than I ever did when I didn't have them. So it sort of defeated my whole objective. But I actually really enjoy doing it. It's uh, a lot of crocheting. Um, so I find that in the evening when I'm talking to Freddie, we're, we're talking about Lady Grace, of course. What else do we talk about? Um, I, I've got my crochet hook out and I'm just giving it a little play. And now I started making things to hang in it. A bit like having a Christmas, your own walking Christmas tree where you can hang little things from it and make it all look pretty. Um, and then change your mind and take it all off again. <laughs> anyway, part of the maintenance of it, I mean, it gets washed every week like you would normal hair, um, but because it's all thickly knitted in, um, you obviously, the idea of having creepy crawlies in my hair is sort of, oh, yeah, I don't want to go there. Um, and smell. Now, um, it, my hair doesn't smell. No, it doesn't. Um, it's, I don't know if it's something to do with the obviously beautiful Atlantic air we have here, but it doesn't smell. And I, I'm training and goodness knows what else. But yeah, I guess washing every week stops all that. But um, they do, I'm Googling it because I'm a complete novice to all of this. Um, Googling it, they say you should detox. I thought, well, I detox my body regularly. So let's detox the hair. And I thought, you know what? Let, I'm going to get all my mates involved in this. You guys have got to see what this is about. Um, most of my mates are from my um, life in England where obviously, you know, 15 years ago you used to say to me, you'll be living life as a, an artist and yoga instructor in the Caribbean wearing dreadlocks. <laughs> Do you know, I'd have fallen off my chair laughing, um, but, but why not, you know, um, just <laughs> life throws you these curveballs. But anyway, back to the objective in hand here is detoxing the hair. So I've read that you need to have um, bicarbonate of soda and, and some vinegar. Now I use this regularly here for cleaning the boat anyway. Um, gotta look after our planet. So um, I'm, I've got this stuff on board. So I thought, you know what, let's do this. Um, I haven't detoxed it since I did my hair, which was about two years ago now. So um, let's do it now. Um, so I've got all the stuff. So here we go. I'm going to turn. I'm not a great film producer, editor thing. So just bear with me. So I have um, baking soda, which is three EC here, which is about a quid in England. Um, you do have to check regularly in the Caribbean to make sure there's no creepy crawlies inside. Weevils. Weevils and cockroaches. Yeah. But hey, you know, you make friends with them in the end and just throw them overboard or you throw out what it is that they're encroaching. Um, so I need to put a quarter of a cup um, in this bowl and cider vinegar again, that's six cc. So that's, I don't know, two quid for a bottle that size. I can't, I haven't got my glasses on, so I can't read how big that bottle is. 16 fluid ounces, there you go. Um, so that has three quarters of a cup. Now, we have to work in cups on a boat because having scales on something <laughs> that's constantly moving, well, you work out the logistics of that. Um, so I'm going to mix these two together because I can't do it while holding my phone and filming. And then I fill it up with um, hot water. And then I've sorted myself out a little seating area. Come on. This is my little seating area here. So my head, my, well, my shoulders will be on here on my beautiful, this used to be our flag our beautiful ensign, um, but it ripped to pieces, but I've made it into a cushion. Um, and the bucket will go here and my head will go in the bucket. And then I can talk to my mate Andy on the phone because he's been trying to catch me all morning and um, I've not been able to talk to him because I'm doing yoga. I have yoga class this Saturday morning, Andy, please. So during Savasana, what does he do? He phones me up. Shh, everyone's asleep. Um, so yeah, hold on to the thought. I'm gonna mix all this concoction together and I'll see you on the lounge area in a minute. I'm gonna show you the mix here because <laughs> it's got so I th I'm a feeling something quite amazing is going to happen here. If you're not familiar with mixing baking soda with vinegar, you, you know, yeah, you're gonna be shocked out your pants here. Um, those that are used to it, then you know, there's no big surprises, but just, just watch this. Okay, yeah, and I'm gonna stick my head in that. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I pressed the wrong button on the phone there. My bad. So that's that's uh, one quarter. That's a half. It's just, God, I feel like a proper witch here. My concoctions, my lotions, and my potions. I should go into sponsorship here. I'm sure some supplier of vinegar and bicarbonate soda would think, oh my God, you know, let's sponsor this woman. Let's pay for Gracie to be finished in the yard. Oh, the of my life. So I'm going to give them a little swish round. Um, next year. Oh, that's not going to be right this year. Actually. I'll just... If in doubt, shut your bloody fingers in there, girl. I'm sure the hot water will sort out the rest of that. Yeah, my hair is going to smell like a fish and chip shop. <laughs> All right, see you in a minute. Okay, so there's the concoction. It's looking pretty brown already. So, yeah, I can't see there being too much of a difference. Now I'm going to just lie down and enjoy putting my feet up. Mind you, that's a bit of a challenge on the boat. Let's hope the ferry doesn't come in and send me flying. Mind you, it'll provide endless entertainment for you guys. Oh, look, I can see what I'm doing now. Oh, so... Having my head in hot water again is really weird because we wash our hair, I wash, our, you know, have showers um, in rainwater, which doesn't come out of the sky that warm, to be fair. Oh, well, that's quite therapeutic. Oh, God, look at that grey. Oh, gosh, you got to have to love the grey. No, but yeah, <laughs> when you get to my age. So what, what's, what's happening? Well, nothing's fizzing. So that's really quite nice. Um, we've got friends coming over for dinner tonight. <laughs> I'm loving what that's doing to my face. It's really lifting it beautifully. I look like I'm in my 20s again. Mind you, it's all sort of concentrating here now. <laughs> Funny things you think about when you've got your head upside down in a bucket. Um, yeah, we've got friends coming over tonight. So I've just put oh, my pressure cooker. I love my pressure cooker. Everything's cooked in pressure cooker. Baked potatoes. But no, we're not having baked potatoes tonight. We're having chilli. Um, but yes, um, Rice pudding. Yeah, we're not having rice with the chilli, we're having little chipped potatoes. It's quite nice with chilli. Chipped potatoes. Um, so yeah, having rice pudding for tea tonight. Um, and I've managed to get some strawberry jam. I usually make my own jam, so it's usually papaya and ginger or something. Um, but I don't know, there's something about rice pudding. You just got to go for the strawberry jam, haven't you? Can't believe I'm talking about strawberry jam with my head in a bucket. Um, <laughs> do you know what? I'm going to give Andy a call now because I've got 20 minutes with my head in the bucket. Um, and it's a good, good time to give him a call, really. <laughs> He'll be expecting it. Um, so anyway, talk to you in a minute. Bye. It's looking pretty brown already. So yeah, I can't see the bean too much of a difference. Now I'm going to just lie down and enjoy putting my feet up. Mind you, that's a bit of a challenge on the boat. Let's hope the ferry doesn't come in and send me flying. Mind you, it'll provide endless entertainment for you guys. Oh, look, I can see what I'm doing now. Oh, so having my head in hot water again is really weird because we wash our hair, I wash our, you know, have showers, um, in rainwater, which doesn't come out of the sky that warm, to be fair. Oh, well, that's quite therapeutic. Oh, God, look at that grey. Oh, gosh, you got to have to love the grey. No, but yeah, <laughs> when you get to my age. So what, what's, what's happening? Well, nothing's fizzing, so that's really quite nice. Um, we've got friends coming over for dinner tonight. I'm loving what that's doing to my face. It's really lifting it beautifully. I look like I'm in my 20s again. Mind you, it's all sort of concentrating here now. <laughs> Funny things you think about when you've got your head upside down in a bucket. Um, yeah, we've got friends coming over tonight, so I've just put oh, my pressure cooker. I love my pressure cooker. Everything's cooked in pressure cooker. Baked potatoes. But no, we're not having baked potatoes tonight. We're having chilli. Um, but yes, um, rice pudding. Yeah, we're not having rice with the chilli. We're having little chipped potatoes. It's quite nice with chilli. Chipped potatoes. Um, so yeah, having rice pudding for tea tonight. Um, and I've managed to get some strawberry jam. I usually make my own jam, so it's usually papaya and ginger or something. Um, but I don't know, 
there's something about rice pudding. You just got to go for the strawberry jam, haven't you? Can't believe I'm talking about strawberry jam with my head in a bucket. Um, <laughs> do you know what? I'm going to give Andy a call now because I've got 20 minutes with my head in the bucket. Um, and it's a good, good time to give him a call, really. <laughs> He'll be expecting it. Um, so anyway, talk to you in a minute. Bye. It's looking pretty brown already. So yeah, I can't see there being too much of a difference. Now I'm going to just lie down and enjoy putting my feet up. Mind you, that's a bit of a challenge on the boat. Let's hope the ferry doesn't come in and send me flying. Mind you, it'll provide endless entertainment for you guys. Oh, look, I can see what I'm doing now. Oh, so having my head in hot water again is really weird because we wash our hair, I wash our, you know, have showers um, in rainwater, which doesn't come out of the sky that warm, to be fair. Oh, well, that's quite therapeutic. Oh, God, look at that grey. Oh, gosh, you got to have to love the grey, no. But yeah, <laughs> when you get to my age. So what, what's, what's happening? Well, nothing's fizzing, so that's really quite nice. Um, we've got friends coming over for dinner tonight. Oh, I'm loving what that's doing to my face. It's really lifting it beautifully. I look like I'm in my 20s again. Mind you, it's all sort of concentrating here now. <laughs> Funny things you think about when you've got your head upside down in a bucket. Um, yeah, we've got friends coming over tonight, so I've just put oh, my pressure cooker. I love my pressure cooker. Everything's cooked in pressure cooker. Baked potatoes. But no, we're not having baked potatoes tonight. We're having chilli. Um, but yes, um, rice pudding. Yeah, we're not having rice with, with chilli. We're having little chipped potatoes. It's quite nice with chilli. Chipped potatoes. Um, so yeah, having rice pudding for tea tonight. Um, and I've managed to get some strawberry jam i usually make my own jam so it's usually papaya and ginger or something um but i don't know there's something about rice pudding you just gotta go for the strawberry jam haven't you can't believe i'm talking about strawberry jam with my head in a bucket um <laughs> do you know what i'm gonna give andy a call now because i've got 20 minutes with my head in the bucket um and it's a good good time to give him a call really <laughs> he'll be expecting it um so anyway talk to you in a minute so that's done 20 minutes and now i'm gonna go and jump the bit and jump in the sea um it's beautiful out here so quick jump in the sea wash it all out and then uh, shower off the back so here it is all finished all clean it feels a bit dry so i might stick some spray some essential oils on it but yeah all good uh yeah check this out just some little pretty things Anyway, that's how last week we detoxed our body. This week, detox the hair. What can we detox next week?